Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. ended with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Thank you. 
How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days. And all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Thank you. 